coming at you from Seattle, Washington. It is time for a Gamers Video Update. My name is Steve, GamerTag C519, one of the hosts of the awesome XBO Radio Podcast, the premier Xbox 360 podcast. And with me this week... Yo, what's happening, XBO Radio listeners? It's Gwee from Cleveland, Ohio. Made my way all the way down to join Steve for, of course, PAX. But what we're doing right now is bringing you a preview, mini preview, of the Call of Duty 4 beta. Yes. So, first thing about Call of Duty, let's talk about the graphics. Oh my god, this game is graphically just amazing. W wouldn't you agree? Um, I, I, you told me before I saw it that I wouldn't believe it. And the skepticism aside, this game, smokingly beautiful. Subtle effects, the motion blur, uh, particle effects from the explosions, uh, I think so far surpasses any single multiplayer game yet graphically that I've played. What do you think? That is true. Um... The graphical, I mean, by far the best graphically looking game on the 360 has always been Gears of War, right? Right. What do you say? How do you, how do you say this ranks against Gears of War? Better? Yeah, I think, same? Worse? I think better because the environments are more dynamic. Okay, you got a lot more things going on. You, you got leaves blowing, leaves look, you got blowing. smoke, you got fire, you know, um, the, the park. Look, look, you see the little whatever the hell it is. Look at this. In the, uh, man, this game, you could go on and on about how beautiful this game is. Uh, Steve, one of the things I noticed that, that's as good as the graphics that really sucks you in is the audio. I mean, Listen to this. Throw it, throw it, throw it. You know, the shotgun blast, and the explosions, the, the, the sounds of vehicles flying above you. Um, the ambient sound in this game, it just it, it sucks you in. Uh, really immerses you, makes you feel like you know, you're in the combat, you're in a stressful situation. I, I'll tell you what, man. I. I I so I'll do I'll do the gamer zone now. You know I I was in it. I was in it. You guys are, are running around, but I, when I was playing, I was in this game. Got kill. I love that kill cam too. Kill right, cam. Let me ask you a question, Steve. So we talked about graphics. We talked about the audio. I mean, is that really the main feature of this game? Is that gameplay. what makes it? Gameplay is what makes the game, and by far this is one of the most enjoyable online games I've played. I've always loved Rainbow Six just right. because. That is the single best online game, I think, on the 360. This game, actually, honestly, blows Rainbow Six just... Uh, this is the beta, too. This is the beta, and just blows Rainbow Six away because it's just so fun to play. Okay, so, look at that nut, too. That so with, with, the, with the gameplay, like, you know, uh, moving from the whole World War II genre, with Call of Duty 4 and what Infinity Ward has done is they've really brought a lot of these modern weapons that, that you recognize, you feel comfortable with, but some of the power-ups. There are actually power-ups that you can achieve from doing, uh, you know, killing streaks. Uh, one of the amazing things that I happened to be the first time I played is someone actually called an airstrike. Oh, man, I was going... Oh, I'm going nuts. Yeah, I mean, you get things, you get, like, little kill streaks. When you get three kills, you, all of a sudden you get radar scans. When you get five kills in a row, you get airstrikes. And seven kills in a row, a helicopter flies in, starts killing bad guys, and you actually get the credit for it. It is, it is awesome. It is fun. You get power ups, like you said. They're not power ups like you know Super Mario Brothers with mushrooms and crap. But it's power ups <laughs> like okay, you know your bullets more p penetrable right now. Okay, when you get shot, you, you know you get last man standing where you're on the ground and you're shooting the guy with the pistol. I mean, it's awesome stuff. Phenomenal game. This game will blow you guys away when it comes out in November. But, but one, one of the things that I do have to warn players that are used to a more rainbow a six like experience with cover. That's not the case for this game. This game is really find your spot, get your shots off, and get moving again. Or you are going to get picked off. There are bullets that actually go through walls, so you get this constant sense of danger. It's not too much that you can camp and be somewhere forever. Even when you do camp, if you've got a sniper rifle and you're camping, I still found myself every second looking around my shoulder because you never really know if someone's going to stab you in the back or shoot you with a shotgun. Yeah, so, that, that's true. And, and the thing is, like you said, you know, most, most of the new games nowadays we talk about the cover system. This game actually is an anti-cover system. You can't behind behind a wall. You will get shot. And it, it's just awesome for that. Bullets don't stop when it hits a wall. They go through the wall. So it's a lot more realistic. So so I, I really have to say that after playing this beta, it has definitely moved into, into my top three games for this holiday season. And that's just the beta only. You know how skeptical I am, XPL Radio listeners. And I'll tell you what, man. This made me feel special in some places. It has to. So, hey, if you guys want more info about this game, you can go to charlieoscadelta.com. You go to check out our show. We're going to talk about a lot more as this thing comes out. All of our hosts are going to have the game now, so we're going to be probably doing a special podcast 
uh, of the round table just about this game solely. So uh, stay tuned for that. You guys take it easy. Have a great week. Stay tuned to xbillradio.com where we have constant packs coverage nice this whole week. Packs coverage. Take All right, easy, guys. guys. It was nice seeing you at XBL Radios. And to my daughter in Cleveland, I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys. This has been a production of XBL Radio. Your game, your voice, your radio. Major Nelson, a.k.a. Larry Herb. Thank you for having me. I saw you online. You guys really have made my success, so I owe everything to folks like yourself. The game is still 25, 25, 25. Hi, this is Luke. Oh, wait, no, okay. The boys from Cinecast. This yes. is Adam, yeah, we're in. Sam? Hi, guys. Catch you. Thank you.